How does it feel to be finally in public together with your gorgeous fiance? It's it's been awesome. We we've been waiting for this for so long. It's it's tough to celebrate an engagement like secretly. We're just ready to get out and like live real life now. Yeah. Um, and so we're just excited. Like this is what we've been really been waiting for. I will say my family does not know that we are engaged. Stop it. They are finding out uh, as Bachelor Nation found out. <gasps> no way. I didn't trust them to keep a secret. Ah! So. <laughs> wow. Aunt Lindsay does not know. No. Is she gonna freak out? Aunt Can we get Aunt Lindsay <laughs> on like the live? <laughs> Where's yeah. Aunt Lindsay? No, no. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Like, when did you know that you were totally, fully, head over heels in love with Katie? The hometown day was massive for me because up until that point, we have had time, but that was like the pivotal day where it felt the most real. And it all happened at nighttime when we did play hockey on, this, on the road where it clicked for me. And it was the next morning where I can picture her taking off her heels and like backpedaling after she said she scored a point in hockey. <laughs> it just naturally came to me, it was like, I love that girl, mm. you know? And it's like a difference of falling in love and just like knowing you're in love, which happened the next day. Yeah. Very Canadian of you to fall <laughs> in love over hockey. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, when did you know that you were bleeping in love with Blake? <laughs> uh, honestly, it probably was the hometown as well. Yeah. Definitely my feelings were growing and I knew each time we saw each other, it was just getting stronger and stronger. And it was just so, easy, like we picked up right where we left off, time didn't matter. Every day our love continues to grow stronger and stronger. We are not even the same couple that you guys just saw go down on one knee. We are, mm. we are so much more already it's and amazing. we're just really excited yeah. to start our lives together. Yeah. We're excited for you. <laughs> Blake, you came into this journey late. Did you ever see yourself sitting here now engaged at the end of this? You know, I, I did, and that's why I pulled the trigger. I just had this crazy, weird intuition and feeling that we would hit it off because we're so similar. Yeah. And that was just wild how it all kind of spiraled out of control in the best way. Yeah, I mean, you know how wild and emotional and hard this whole journey can be. Katie, what does that mean to you? For Blake to get back on the show to fight for you, knowing that he's done this before and knew it would be hard. It's actually probably the most romantic thing someone's ever done. You know, I know you, you question it in the beginning. I know a lot of people did, but knowing that I could have turned him away and he would have looked dumb, mm -hmm. you know, like he took all these risks for me and I, no one's ever believed in me like that, you know? And so for him to just trust in us early on, it just, it just means everything. Take us back to that day. You're on that platform and Blake takes a long time. <laughs> Yeah, he does. To get down on that knee. What was going on in your head at that moment? So all day you're wondering, you know, is he going to propose? Is he not? And so in the moment when I think maybe he's not ready to propose, I try my best to hide any sadness. <laughs> so then when he ends up actually proposing, I was truly <laughs> shocked. <laughs> but I mean, that's just his personality. He's such a prankster, so I should have <laughs> seen it coming, honestly. <laughs> so what was it that, you, that finally triggered for you? to propose to Katie. When I started looking at the rings, I think is when it really started to like hit me. It's like what this was and the magnitude of it and the weight of it. Oh, I know. I wasn't looking at it as an engagement. I was looking at like, okay, if I do this, this is gonna be the only time I do this. And so this is marriage, not just an engagement, like this is marriage for me. And so when you're looking at the rings, you know, it's up until that point, it's, it's a thought. And you're like, you get like, yeah, when I get there, it'll be no problem. But when you're there, you have to make the action. It's, it's a whole other thing, especially when it's happening on the same day. Yeah. And so, I just wanted to make sure that I was making the right decision for me, but for us, and was that getting engaged today? Yeah. And ultimately, I believe that that was the case, and so we did it. Mm -hmm. Katie, after this entire crazy journey, all the ups and downs, the roller coaster of emotion, sitting right here, was it all worth it? A thousand percent, it was all <laughs> worth it. You know, I think everyone can agree that this is exactly who I was supposed to be with. He fought to be here for me and chose to stay even when I'm telling him to his face that I considered leaving, you know, that he yeah. was confident enough to hold both of us to the end. It's... <sighs> I'm just so lucky. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> so cute. I just really... <laughs>
I just really want to thank you, ladies, um, Tasha, for introducing me to Blake. Oh. I mean, I feel like I owe that to you as well. And Caitlin, when I was at my lowest point, you were there to pick me up. And I, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, would not have gone through this if it wasn't for the support of you ladies. So I just want to oh. thank you. Don't I love you. you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Do it so again. All for you. All day, every day. <laughs> yeah.